Keith, you've just finished a film called Sacrifice for entering the Sydney Film Festival. Has this been an amateur affair? Um, no, I would call it professional. I would say every part of the film is professionally done. Shooting, sound and the music. Um, as far as I can see, it'll, um, I hope it will be released theatrically in the local cinemas if I can get an agent to want to buy it. Keith, was it something made on the weekends with your friends? No, uh, it's been full time for about three and a half, four months now. How were you able to afford something like that? Well, I raised the finance. I had some money myself and I went and saw the appropriate people who you know, don't want to be mentioned mainly because it's um, not profit for them and they loaned me some money. What sort of background training have you had to become a film director? Well, I spent a lot of time um, with 8mm when I was about 17. I used to go on surfing safaris and shoot stuff, you know, anything, you know, people on boards running around and stuff like this. And um, then I went to university after that, like, you know, the usual run of the mill, go to university, prove your mind. And uh, I started filming there and I got my hands on a 16mm there from the university. And I made sort of, you know, short little things, putting music over it. And then when I got out of that, I thought, when I wrote a few stories, I um, selected one of the stories I wrote, which seemed to be a good story to budget on, and I went out and um, started to work on it. You also used the group timepiece to lay the soundtrack for it. How did this come about? Um, well, um, at the end of shooting, yeah, I had the feel for the music before I shot it. And I wanted something with a slight country air to it, you know, a little bit um, out in the country style. The timepiece jumped out of it. A deadly afterglow Something else to do I'll be happy to see you Now she's gone And there's only you and me Someone has to go I'll be happy to see you There's no tomorrow Just fantasies and tombstones in her mind I think it's you know, more a matter of luck and um, time more than anything. I think it'd be quite a few problems. Um, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get it theatrically released as a short before a main feature. Um, if I do it through British channels, I should be able to achieve that. If I do it through American channels, perhaps not. If they don't like it, you're left with it to you know, distribute it in some way. You can either pocket yourself overseas, try to sell it to the Russians, try to sell it to the Poles or something like this, They'll buy it. As an art film. As an art film. Otherwise, um, if that doesn't work, <laughs> you keep it in your living room and just show it to yourself.